speech by adopting a personalized and humorous material from outside sources and to deliver the speech in a way that makes the humor effective. This is Carrie Cargo, When Nature Calls. I have to warn you, I was injured in the making of this speech. <laughs> Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, Several years ago, just after I started dating my, ball, my boyfriend, Paul, we were sitting around chit-chatting about you know, what we like doing, you know, the, the basic stuff you do in the beginning of a relationship. And he said, yeah, I used to go camping all the time. And I kind of looked at him, really? He says, oh yeah, I would go summer camping and winter camping and we'd go portaging where you have to take your stuff in a canoe and then you go over land and all this other stuff. And he's just getting really passionate about it. And I'm just kind of sitting there and he says, so, have you gone camping? I'm like, no, I haven't really got into it. You're kidding me, oh my gosh, but you know, you love going outside and doing all this stuff. How come you haven't gone camping? Well, you know, I kind of, kind of, kind of brushed him off. Well, you know, my parents really just weren't outdoor people and you know, their idea of roughing it was Motel 6. So I kind of took that on too, that that's just, you know, my idea. He's like, no way, you can't do that. I mean, you have to, you gotta go camping. I said, well, you know, I'm trying to brush them off again. You know, it's all that equipment that you get, it's kind of expensive and it just was never a priority. He's like, well, you know, there's no excuse. I've got all the stuff, we need to go camping. Again, I'm kind of like, hmm, yeah, it's just, you know, there's so many other things we can do. We don't need to go camping. No, 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 it's great. In fact, why don't we go this winter? We can go camping. And, He's um, just kind of getting the willies, and he's like, finally, okay, what is it? What is your problem? Why won't you go camping? And I said, well, something happened when I was younger. He says, but what do you mean? And I said, well, okay. When I was little, I was a tomboy, and I used to hang out with Alan all the time, and Alan's parents invited me to go camping with them one time. This is when I lived in Colorado. And so I went. But remember, my parents weren't outdoor people, so I'd never been <coughs> outdoors for long periods of time. And he's, you know, being a guy, kind of being obtuse about this, like, what do you mean? And I said, okay, well, we got there, and it was semi-rustic. So there, when we got there, you know, you spend the whole day setting up and putting your tent up and everything, and there was an outhouse. Well, I could figure that out. You open the door, and even though it isn't porcelain, there's a bench and there's a hole, and it's obvious that you do what you do in the bathroom, and you sit down and you go. He's like, yeah. So I was okay when nature called when we were in the campground, because I could figure out how to use an outhouse. He's like, okay. I said, well, we weren't always in camp. And he still is kind of oblivious, like, yeah? Oh my gosh, you can just be so difficult. Okay, so the next day, we went out on a day-long hike where there was no outhouse. Okay. I said, and nature called, and I ignored it because there was no facility, and then nature started screaming, becoming very persistent that uh, that was going to be an action that needed to be taken, and I didn't know what to do. I mean, I was a tomboy, and you know, Alan just came equipped for dealing with nature calling in the outdoors, but I wasn't equipped that way and no one had really taught me how to do it. But it became evident I had to go. And I noticed that Alan's mom had gone off a couple of times, so I figured, okay, I need to go off. So it's like, oh, excuse me, I need to go off. And so I walked off the path and, you know, be kind of paranoid. Okay, is anyone, no, no one can see me. And, stood there for a moment and I'm thinking, okay, what are the mechanics of how you do this? Okay, there's no seat, but I can do th that motion. I'm like, I can do this. And then I promptly filled my shoe. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was probably eight years old at, a t at the time. And that's very traumatizing for an eight year old, especially since you know, my parents weren't understanding. I was with a little boy who was kind of like, what's your problem? And I had a wet shoe. I was just, it, it literally, for the rest of my life, up until this conversation, 
I was traumatized by the idea of what do you do when nature calls and there's no facility. And he just looks at me, my boyfriend looks at me like, really? You are not camping because of one incident when you were a child? I said, well, it was a big incident to me. He said, there are Okay, fine. I thought the point was done and we were over with this until I received a book that year in my stocking called How to Shit in the Woods. <laughs> <laughs> Open it up to chapter six and amazingly, there is a whole chapter for women only. How not to pee in your boots. <laughs> I was loving this. I'm an academic. I can, no one's teaching me, but I can read the mechanics of how to accomplish this. I was feeling good. I was still in the neophyte category, but I had some promise. This paid off last January when we were on our trip to Canada. There was one road going from Calgary to Banff. And there was an accident on that road, and we were stuck in traffic. And nature called. And again, I was kind of like, well, maybe traffic will let up, because again, there's snow on the ground. I wasn't doing, I knew I could do this. I didn't know if I wanted to do it. But finally, it's like, you know what? I, I can do this. I got this handle. And I told him, I'm, I need to go over and use the tree. And he's kind of looking at me like, really? Okay. Are you sure about this? I'm like, yes, I'm positive. I've read the book on this. I can do this. So I get out of the car. Of course, there are a hundred or so people watching the fact that I'm about to go do this. I go, I accomplish my task successfully and make it back to the car with dry shoes. I was so impressed with myself. I know that I can handle anything, including when nature calls. Thank you.